Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So, um, so find the find the values of x for which this power series will converge. Or another way of asking the same question is find the domain for this function. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so uh, so we're going to use the uh, the ratio test. So when it comes to the ratio test, you always get a n plus one divided by a n. So this so this is your a n plus one divided by a n. It's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of a n. That will then give you this. Now, uh, now tidy this up. So this times this, this times this. Well, this thing here will then become this, uh, and then uh, and then this thing here will then become will then become this. So it's just a matter of tidying up. So tidy this up. Um, let me think. Uh, so you've got this thing and this thing here. Group them together. And move this across here, and then move this thing across here. So it looks like this. So you group all the um, all the ends together. You group all the axes together. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, um, now, uh, now tidy this up. So, uh, so you've got, uh, if you look at this, uh, you simply get this, take away this. So, uh, so 2m plus 1, take away this thing here, which will be minus 2n minus, um, so it will become a plus 1. So, uh, so these two cancel out. That will then give you 1 plus 1 is 2. That, that will then give you this, Two here. Okay. Well, this whole thing here will then become this. So, uh, so, uh, so, so when it comes to the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here: uh, a n plus one, one over a n, and uh, and as n tends to infinity. Well, this value here is this thing here. So you, so, so when it comes to um, the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. If this value here is less than one, then we know the uh we know the uh this the series will will um will converge if it's greater than one then we know the series is going to diverge if it equals precisely one then it's inconclusive well if you look at this here if you if you um if you get if you hang on let me clear this up if x <coughs> if you select um if you select x to be um it, if you look at the number line zero one and negative uh, negative one. If you select everything in this interval, hang on, bear with me. If you select everything in the in this interval here, then uh, if you select everything on, in this interval here, then then you know it's going to converge. Okay, so so uh, so so everything in this interval here will converge. Um, anything beyond the interval, then then we know it's going to diverge because it's going to be this thing here will be bigger than uh, than one because as n tends to infinity, this will act as one. So, um, so, so select if if you want to make this to be less than one for convergence, then then you have to select everything in this interval. Anything greater, then it's going to diverge. But then, but then if you select one, if you select one, then then uh, then one squared will be one. The limit of this will be one. The whole thing here will be one, which will lead you to this, which will be inconclusive. So, so we need to investigate what happens when it's dead on one, and what happens when uh, when it's uh, negative one. So, so far, uh, so so far, if we, we know that um, we we know that if you select anything in in this interval, it will converge. We know that for sure. Uh, anything beyond this and beyond this, it will diverge. But uh, but if if you select x to be one. And negative one, it, it, this thing here will be will be inconclusive. So now we need to investigate what happens when you select one and negative one. Okay, so uh, so now let's let's look at the case where uh, where when when x equals one. Now let's look at the case when x equals one. When x equals one, we need to put this into here. So that will then become one, and then this stays exactly the same, exactly the same. So now it's just um, it's just a matter of tidying this up. So hang on, let me think. Um, if if you look at this thing here, um, n n moves from one to infinity. So when you times two, it will be an even. It will be an even amount. Take away one, that will be an odd amount. So it'll be one times well one times one to the power of anything. It will be one. So you can simplify this thing here as being the number one. So, uh, so this thing here, this thing here will then become this thing here. 
Okay, so now, now, uh, now we we would well we are trying to determine if this series will converge for the case of for the case of uh, x being equal to one. So uh, so to determine that we would use the the alternating series test because we this thing here alternates. So with the alternating series test, you discard this. So you discard the alternating part and just extract the uh, the un here. Uh, make sure all the uns are positive. So in this case, this is our un here, uh, and it, it will always be positive. Looking at this, when, when n moves from one to infinity, and then uh, make sure, make sure that uh, un heads towards in, uh, towards zero as n heads towards infinity. Well, as n heads towards infinity, this will head towards towards zero. And then now make sure that um, make sure that it, it is non-increasing. So it's two ways of doing this. Uh, looking at this and then comparing it to the next term, the next term will be this um, n plus 1 and then you've got your minus 1, tidy this up it will be 1 over 2n and then you've got 2 take away 1 which will be uh, which will be 2 take away 1 which will be 1 uh, plus 1 uh, so, so you can see that comparing this with this you can see that the denominator here is will always be bigger than, than this denominator here, making it, making this whole thing here smaller. Well, th the point here is that this, this thing here is non-increasing. Or, 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 or the other way of doing this is to differentiate this and then, uh, and then make sure that it's, uh, make sure that the, um, the derivative is always negative. That will tell you that it's always going downhill. Well, use whichever method you want. Uh, it is actually non-increasing. So all three conditions have been satisfied. Therefore, we know that this, Will, um, will, will converge for the case of x being equal to 1. So now we need to check that, um, uh, we, we need to check that, it, uh, we, now we need to look at the case when x equals negative 1. So we would need to put negative 1 into this x here. That will then give you this thing to the power of 2n mi minus 1. So now tidy this up. Um, tidy this up here. Well, n moves from one to infinity. Um, here you here you got times two, so that will give you, you you're you're multiplying negative one by an even amount, but then you take away one. So so you're multiplying negative one uh, by an an odd amount. Well, an odd amount you you can simplify this as negative one. So negative one to the power of an odd amount. This whole block here. Will, will, will be the same as negative one. So now, uh, now you've got this block. Um, uh, well, well, basically, push this across here. So, so, um, so it would be negative one, n minus one, which is this bit here, and then you you times uh, negative one to the power of one, and then and then this bit here, you can imagine this as being one over two n. Uh, minus one. Well, merge these two together. That will then give you this, uh, and then what you're left with is this thing here. So it's nice and clean now. So uh, so this thing becomes this thing here. So now um, we we are trying to determine if this uh, this series will converge or if it will diverge for the case of x being negative one. That's what we're trying to determine. So uh, so to do that, we would. Uh, use the alternating series test again. Make sure that all the uns are positive. You can see. Positive, uh, and then check this. It is indeed heading towards zero. Use whichever method you want. Make sure that it's non-increasing. Well, this thing here is non-increasing. All three have been satisfied. Therefore, this thing here will converge. So, going back to the original question, um, we, 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 well, we, well, going back to the, to the original question, your, your domain here is this. It, Including negative one, it will converge. Including positive one, it will converge. Anything in between, it will converge. Anything out here, it will diverge. Okay, so, so the domain for this function is, um, is, uh, negative one, comma, uh, ha -ha. So the, the, uh, the domain for this function is this. Including negative one, comma, one. Okay? So, uh, so anything, anything in between here, including negative one, and including positive one. Okay?